Remember that show that was the most pirated show in all of history? The one where the character that everyone wanted to end up on the Iron Throne finished his story right back where he began in the first place? The one that was known for its spicy sex scenes and killing off main characters. Well, in case you have no idea what I'm talking about, I am talking about Game of Thrones. Hello everyone, Dante D here. Welcome to the channel where we talk about comic books and other geek stuff. And today we are specifically talking about Game of Thrones and why, frankly, no one cares anymore. So Game of Thrones series finale was in 2000 and was it 18, 19? Well, I really don't care anymore and probably neither do you, but it was around that time. And since then, I cannot believe how hard and how fast a franchise has fallen out of grace. Now, I know people were not too happy with how the Game of Thrones show ended. They were not happy with where the characters ended up. They were not happy because they felt it was so rushed. But at the end of the day, I think there's more at play than a crappy ending to a television series for it to be off of everyone's radar today. I can remember a time when Game of Thrones was everywhere. Every single meme had to do with Game of Thrones. There's Game of Thrones merchandise everywhere. Game of Thrones was just in your face. It was so part of the cultural zeitgeist that there was no turning from it. But now the winds of winter are gently blowing with no one to listen to them. And the dream of spring that we all once had has now faded in the distance. So the first reason I think that this show really is not on anybody's radar anymore and no one cares about Game of Thrones and I really think that any new Game of Thrones projects that they uh, plan to release in the future are really going to tank because I think fans have just had it with Game of Thrones because being a Game of Thrones fan nowadays is just wrought with frustration. You think Star Wars fans are frustrated? You think Marvel fans are frustrated? There is nobody more frustrated right now than a Game of Thrones Song of Ice and Fire fan. So the show ended on a crappy note. Yeah, we all know that. But there's really a lot more to it than that. The other nail in the coffin that is pretty much the death of Game of Thrones that I believe is the fact that George R.R. R. Martin has taken so freaking long and at the time of recording this video he still has not finished the winds of winter and if you don't know what the winds of winter is it is the forthcoming novel the sixth installment in the song of ice and fire series now what i think has irked some people is yeah it's been taking them a long time to finish the book but i think what got people even more upset was the fact that instead of finishing winter of winter he gave us this honking thing which is fire and blood which is pretty much a fictional textbook look how thick that is that could have been the winds of winter but no he gave us this instead and i'm the idiot who bought it and here's what's really funny i bought this when it came out and i still haven't read it if you read it please let me know in the comments let me know if it's, if it's even worth it at this point the last installment in the game of thrones series was a dance with dragons which came out in 2011. it is now 2021 we're halfway through 2021 and george rr R. martin like we have no idea when the hell the winds of winter is coming out and frankly i predict that when that book does finally come out if it ever does come out i don't know if anybody is actually even going to care or even going to buy it now yeah the publishers are still going to make their money off of it because there are that many dedicated fans to the franchise that will still go after and buy the book but i can tell you the more casual fans of game of thrones are not even going to look back and they are not even going to care about the release of that book they have been saying winter is coming for a really really long time but for most Game of Thrones and Song of Ice and Fire fans, winter is probably never gonna come. And what's really funny is after Winds of Winter, we're supposed to be getting the last book, which is A Dream of Spring. I'm sorry, folks, George R.R. R. Martin is never ever going to finish this series. I don't think it's gonna happen. We've gotten word that there are other Game of Thrones related, Song of Ice and Fire's Westeros themed shows in production, but I don't think people are really hyped about it because they're just over it. People are fed up with Game of Thrones. The other thing I find is really, really annoying about Game of Thrones now is, and, and it's taken me this long to kind of realize it, is George, 
get to the point. And what do I mean by that? With this first book here, titled A Game of Thrones, I was blown away. I absolutely loved this book and I was just hooked on this universe, the characters, it was just awesome. With the following book, A Clash of Kings, didn't think it was as good as Game of Thrones, but it was still pretty good and I really, really thoroughly enjoyed this book. Then with this honking thing, A Storm of Swords, which I think is probably the longest one in the series so far, I again was blown away. This book pretty much made me cry. It was so tragic. So many tragic things happened in this book and it just leaves you thirsty and wanting more. Then with the fourth book, A Feast for Crows, I was like, okay, still more story building going on. Still, still a pretty good book, but I'm like, okay, is this story gonna wrap up pretty soon or are we gonna get some sort of resolution at all? No resolutions in this book. Mm -hmm, okay, then with the fifth book, A Dance with Dragons, still no resolution, still none. And you know what's really funny? This book here does not even advance the plot. This book and this book happen at the same time. So technically, these should be one book. But no one's ever going to freaking print a book that long. Not even George R.R. Martin can get away with that. So he had to split it up into two books. George, stop taking x lax and having diarrhea all over the page. We don't need that many details. There's just so much story building. And I really think that there's just so much story building and so much detail now that the guy does not even know what kind of mess he's written himself into. Let me tell you, and I'm going to be honest with you right now. I have started and not finished this book two times. I start it get about halfway through, then I just get freaking frustrated and bored out of my mind that I shut it and move on to something else. I probably will eventually finish it, but at this time, from what I'm hearing, people were just kind of bored and it, it, it's really like a marathon. You really have to be in a particular sort of mood to be able to get through this type of book. And I don't have any surgeries coming up. This book might have to wait a little bit longer to get read. Maybe the next time I go on vacation, which none of us can really do because of the world situation. Then of course, as already mentioned, we got Fire and Blood. And you know what's really funny about this? This is not a complete edition. There's supposed to be another volume. You would think that everything he wants to tell you about the Targaryens could be told in 600, 706 pages. But no, there's going to be another book. And honestly, if he publishes volume two of this before the Winds of Winter, I, like, I, I, I'm going to burn all these books. I'm just telling you that right now. And the last point I want to make too is that I don't even think the producers at HBO necessarily have any more passion for any Game of Thrones related projects anymore either. I mean, there was already one show that was announced and they were planning production for it and it already got canceled. Now we are getting this show they're saying it's going to release probably next summer, but I'm telling you, if it even does finish and get produced and airs next summer like it's supposed to, I don't know if fans are going to warm up to this show very quickly. I think people are going to be very, very cautious with this show. I know I am. So that about does it for our video today. I know I pretty much just went on a rant, but I'm really having a hard time caring about Game of Thrones nowadays. Let me know what you think. Are you still a diehard Game of Thrones, Song of Ice and Fire fan? Or are you kind of getting disillusioned with this whole franchise at this point? Let me know in the comments. And as always, this is Dante D signing off. I will see you all in the next episode.